If you use the most popular cloud storage platforms, your cloud storage experience might just suck. Hey, look, we've all been there before, haven't we? All of us began using a cloud storage platform only to learn more about their questionable privacy practices or learn that they just had a data leak. And that's a clear sign that you aren't using one of the best cloud storage providers, which you'll learn more about in this video. But the best doesn't always mean the biggest as top cloud storage platforms have grown complacent in releasing new features, creating an experience that doesn't work for most people. But thankfully, we can speak with our wallets by buying from other cloud storage providers. Hey, I'm Jason of the Cyber Lab, and today I'll talk to you about some of the best cloud storage platforms. Now, cloud storage can be great if you wanna back up your files and make them easy to access across multiple computers. This can be incredibly handy in the event of unfortunate circumstances. I think you get my point. Attention bargain hunters, I've got a fantastic deal for you. Visit the description below to unlock a limited time discount on all the products. Now our considerations for today's video are Ice Drive, Sync, iDrive, pCloud and Box. Now we'll rate these on a tier list from okay to awesome based on cost, security, features, collaboration, integrations, and ease of use. Now, the big three of cloud storage are Dropbox, Google Drive, and OneDrive. Each of them is all right, and we use Google Docs, which uh, comes with Drive in our work at the Cyber Lab. But both Microsoft and Google share the same problem. They don't care for your data privacy, and Dropbox has a known history of data leaks. Some people make claims like, well, Google doesn't understand privacy, and Edge is the worst browser for privacy. So these platforms are fine, but they shouldn't be your first choice for cloud storage. But what about you? What's your priority when picking good cloud storage? Let us know in the comments. So if you are wondering where the meme tier has gone, it's with these three providers. Take that, guys. Instead, it should be one of the five on our list, starting with Ice Drive. Now, Ice Drive is the new kid on the block, but has turned some heads in the cloud storage industry regardless. But why is that? Well, it offers some pretty sweet perks. First, it is our number one pick if you prioritize security. IceDrive offers powerful zero-knowledge encryption so nobody can access your data. You can also use their encrypted folder and two-factor authentication system. IceDrive is also based in Wales. It's a country known for solid data privacy laws. Wales is also known for its rich culture, lovely countryside, and stunning coastal areas. Well, at least according to the first result on Google. <laughs> Jeez, no wonder that's so chill. Uh, anyway, Ice Drive. Right, so Ice Drive offers great pricing flexibility with monthly, yearly, and lifetime deals. These deals can save you a great deal over, well, your lifetime. My only critique, the storage is somewhat light on the light plan as 150 gigabytes feels small. But if that isn't a problem, you don't have to pay anything for 10 gigs. Now, regarding appearance, the mobile app made available for iOS and Android is clean, but the iOS typically gets less support. The desktop app creates a unique D drive for you. It also has a portable app, an unusual name for an app that might end up on a desktop computer. Anyway, I guess they assume that every device is a laptop. Huh. Ice Drive can improve in the integrations department, but that might not be a deal breaker for everyone. See, the security, the ease of use, pricing, and convenience put Ice Drive in the good tier. With some collaboration, it could have easily hit the top level. But how important is collaboration to you in your cloud storage? Let us know in the comments below. Okay, let's take a look at Sync. Based on our findings, Sync is the best platform for people who crave simplicity. Yes, Sync prioritizes the KISS principle, or keep it simple, stupid, so it's ideal for people unfamiliar with cloud storage. The desktop app creates a sync folder but has no real interface beyond a small window where you can search for files. I mean, what more do you want? The mobile app for desktop and iOS looks a little bit better, but it doesn't have anything to write home about. Reviews have been critical about the stability of these apps. So, a long story short, well, the interface, yeah, super limited, which isn't great for everyone. But Sync recovers from this by integrating with Microsoft Word, Excel, and PowerPoint, but has no support with Google. Sync is great at one thing it's named for, automatic syncing. But you might still be wondering, well, what makes this platform worth the best of lists? Well, to find out, 
you'll have to like our video. <laughs> <laughs> the secret knowledge I hold is so irresistible, it might just get you to meet my demands. Did you do it? Good. Well, this isn't a choose your own adventure video, so you might think of this as the weirdest episode of Dora the Explorer. We had such an exciting trip today. What was your favorite part of the trip? Nonetheless, I digress. Beyond its solid collaboration features, it gets some points for pricing and security. Now, Sync is based out of Canada, which has solid data privacy laws. It also has zero knowledge encryption, meaning that nobody knows about your files but you. Sync also offers some of the best value for its storage. It costs $8 for one terabyte of storage, which is pretty great. The free storage, however, is limited to five gigs, which is less than others on this list. Uh, you also don't get any lifetime deals. With this in mind, Sync falls into our tier list's OK category. It's got an inconvenient and dated interface, but makes it up with excellent pricing and simplicity. So are you ready to upgrade your plan? Well, I've got a special discount just for you. Click the link in the description for more. So what do you think? Can you overcome a crappy interface to find an awesome product? Well, let us know your thoughts in the comments. Now, our next product has taken inspiration from Apple for its name, iDrive. Now, unlike Apple, iDrive doesn't follow the same camel case convention that you get from iPod or iMac. Oh yes, camel case. Camel case means that you capitalize letters in the later parts of the word. And that is your CyberLab word of the day, a new feature that we're presenting for this one video only. <clears throat> of all the products on this list, iDrive takes the cake on the best dollar per byte. The free tier starts at 10 gigabytes, but upgrades to 100 gigs at the next level for about $3 per year. And that's a good start, but the craziness starts at the personal level, about $60 for five terabytes. I mean, that's enough storage to fit at least four or five American McDonald's cheeseburgers. <laughs> iDrive also has the same end-to-end -end zero knowledge encryption, but it's based out of California in the US. And California is known for solid data privacy, but the US is known for some, well, questionable data decisions. iDrive also has some decent features. Like most of the drives on this list, it automatically syncs across platforms using automatic backup. Among integrations, it works with Google Workspace and Microsoft 365. And you're going to have to pay $20 for each integration though, which, well, it's a bit of a bummer. Regarding interface, iDrive is available across all major platforms, but it'll feel like you're using three different unrelated programs. The web app's interface is, well, it's the worst of the three, as the left-hand menu is a smorgasbord of confusing options. It's not overly complex, but if you can tell me the difference between these menus from an initial glance, hey, I'll email you a cookie. <laughs> Now the desktop app is better, offering automatic scheduled backups for your files. You'll also find unique server-based backups, but these aren't useful for regular users. The mobile app is the best of the three, offering a simple, engaging interface for backing up phone files. Now because of its solid features and affordable pricing, iDrive ends up at the good level on our tier list. Now with a bit of an interface refresh, well, they could be better. But let's take a look at one of the most popular cloud drive platforms next, pCloud. Now, based on our findings, pCloud offers some of the most comprehensive security and convenience when compared to other platforms. <clears throat> pCloud is unique because it starts the tutorial teaching you how to upload files and manage your storage. Going through the tutorial unlocks a free 10 gigabytes of storage. But the last three of their 10 gigabytes of storage is limited to people who invite three friends, which is a bit of a bummer, especially if you don't have three friends. I'm kidding, I got lots. Now, pCloud offers automatic uploads and syncing for your phone and desktop files. It's pretty easy to set up as well, as you can find it in your various app settings. One of the most popular features that you get through pCloud is the ability to stream media. pCloud has an integrated audio and video player meaning that you can jam to your tunes or watch videos without needing to download them. pCloud's dashboard also makes it easy for you to track shared links with a dedicated shared tab. Now those shared links control whether you let people download files, add password protection, and even add a custom expiration link so that your links are only available for a limited time. 
Now, these unlimited links that most services offer can be a huge security risk. So kudos to pCloud for thinking of others. Now, beyond pCloud's web app, you also get a powerful desktop app. It's easy to navigate and use the platform's most powerful features. pCloud extends this easy use to its mobile platform. Man, you can tell a lot of love went into all of these apps. Now, pCloud covers your security with a powerful 256 AES zero-knowledge system based out of Switzerland, a data privacy haven. It also offers a crypto storage service, mm -hmm, ideal for your most private files. But crypto costs extra, so prepare to pay about $5 a month for this service. Now, regarding cost, pCloud offers annual plans and lifetime plans with a lot of storage. You can get storage anywhere from 500 gigs to 10 terabytes, which is insane. So, pCloud easily hits that awesome tier, covering all the bases you need from cloud storage. The one thing it could improve on is integrations. And hey, pCloud is currently running a limited time promotion where you can save a whopping 80% off on pCloud plans. Don't hesitate, head over to the description box, click the link and unlock this exclusive discount before it's gone. Secure your files with pCloud today. But if you are looking for a platform with too many integrations, you might be looking at our next contender, Box. No, no, not that box. Get out of here. This box. The good one. The <laughs> nice one. Hello. Now, Box is unique because it focuses heavily on integrations. You can get it to work with Microsoft, Google, Asana, Zoom, and Airtable. We could list more, but it would take the rest of the day. You can find them in the dashboard. Now, speaking of the dashboard, it's also fairly simple to use. The web app houses most of everything you need, letting you navigate your files easily. Box also offers mobile and desktop apps. Now, the desktop app has no interface, instead limiting you to automatic syncing and a folder. The mobile app is solid, but isn't as easy to use as some. You will find a bunch of features you probably won't need if you want basic cloud storage. For example, you can e-sign documents from Box. And this is great if you run a business, but not that useful for everyone else. You'll also get access to Box Canvas, which is a whiteboard app. So if you want to create idea boards, you'll find that useful. Uh, you can also collaborate those boards with others, even if your friends are a little nuts. You'll find that most of these features are business centric. So if you're a freelancer or need something for your job, you might find a few useful tools. Arguably, its most useful feature is the free plan, which offers a whopping 30 gigabytes of storage. The free plan doesn't include any of the integrations or business features, but does offer you decent free storage. Now, the paid plans are a lot less cost effective for people seeking more storage. You get 100 gigs for about $14 a month. The higher cost comes from the integrated business features, which, again, might not be useful for everyone. Box also is one of the few providers that offers unlimited storage, but you need to pay for their business plans, which require you to add multiple users and pay per user usually costing a minimum of $30 per month. And because of this, Box meets our good tier, but it is still very niche. Unless you are running a business, you won't find a lot of value out of Box. But that's, hey, just our perspective. We want to hear from you. What integrations do you look for in your cloud storage provider? Let us know in the comments. All right, so to recap, if you want the best value of your storage, we recommend pCloud. But the best cloud storage depends on your priorities, which we've broken down for you. If you've been eyeing a product from our list, now is the perfect time to grab it. You can find discounts for all of these providers in our description. And if you're interested in a deeper perspective on how some of these platforms compare to the big three, well, go and check out this video right here. Go check it out. You can go click. We'd also appreciate you leaving a like and sharing this with your friends. 10,000 likes on this one, and I shall serenade the audience with a personalized jingle based on any given topic in the comments. Try me. We'll see. I'll do it. I'll do it. I will. Yeah. Come on. Like, share. Ha 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 ha. <clears throat> I'm working on it.